हे गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस न्यू ओ टी अपडेट अवेलेबल फॉर वन प्लस फाइव एंड फाइव टी यूजर्स फॉर दिस टेबल अपडेट चैनल इफ यू गैस रिमेंबर वी हैव गोट एंड्रॉयड प्राइस टेबल अपडेट लास्ट वीक बट सम पीपल आर फेसिंग इश्यूज विद दैट अपडेट विद द टेस्ट ऑफ एंड्रॉयड पाई नो वन प्लस हैव पुस्ट अनदर स्टेबल बिल्ड टू फिक्स दोस इशू अबाउट द अपडेट आई डिड नॉट गेट द अपडेट डायरेक्टली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपडेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओ एस You just need to download Oxygen OS Updater app and download the incremental or full update based on your bootloader status. If you are running previous stable build, then the update size is 159 MB. And if your phone's bootloader has unlocked, you will receive the full update that will be around somewhere 1.7 GB. For manually flashing, put the ROM in File Manager and go to Settings, then System Update. Hit the gear icon on the top right side and choose From Local Upgrade, and flash it manually. I will provide the links in description box. So I have completed my installation. So let me reboot the phone. Installation process is pretty fast, and it will take even less than two minutes. Everything is done. So let's go to system settings about phone. As you can see, Oxygen OS version is 9.0.1 based on Android Pie, and security patch level is from December 1, and the build date is from December 29. So let's talk about change log first regarding the system. They have improved stability for Wi-Fi connection, optimized sRGB display mode, optimized reading mode, fixed issue with 4G VoLTE toggle missing, fixed random reboots when screen casting. Now let's talk about the changes which is related to Wi-Fi. They have now improved the Wi-Fi connection. For me, Wi-Fi had no issues in the past, so I can't tell you about that. Now they have also optimized the sRGB display mode. For this, you have to go to System Settings, then Display, then you can find this option under Screen Calibration. But there is no noticeable difference in sRGB mode. But they have optimized with this update. Now they have also optimized the reading mode. If you guys are not aware of the OnePlus reading mode, again you can find this option under Display tab, and there is no noticeable difference or any new option in this reading mode. They have also fixed issues with 4G VoLTE toggle missing, but I had no issues in the past regarding VoLTE toggle or with network. VoLTE works great for me. Now they have fixed random reboots when screen casting, so I have tested this on one of my friend's house, and screen casting have no issues. In the last, if we talk about the launcher, the launcher version is now updated to 3.1.5. And regarding the camera app, this is the same camera app. There is no nightscape in the camera app, no new modes, and the camera app version is 3.0.13. Coming to the benchmarks, the Antutu version 7 score is 2,13,355, and the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 1,953, and the multi-core score is 6,815. So that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful, and I see you guys next time.